Yo guys, in this video we're hitting up the unsightly catacombs. Now I'm going to show you my best and easiest guide to make your way through to the lever to open the big clunky door and make your way through to the boss. And I'll try my best to give you the best tips available for the dual fight you'll be coming up against. Now to start with these caves, I tried running through and just jumping past these guys, but they end up clogging up and blocking the archways together and they just follow you until the end. So it's definitely worth taking out as many as you can one by one. You will only encounter either one or two at a time, so just take them out slowly and then make your way through the cave following my route. Now a couple of these misbegotten gremlins are definitely bigger and hit harder than the others, so don't be afraid to take a step back, take your time and then charge the attacks and uh, just, as I say take them out slowly one by one, it will just make the entire catacomb so much easier. Down this first set of stairs this message comes in clutch, be wary of right, take this guy out and head on through the archway. Biggest tip for the catacombs is to use your auto lock feature. A lot of these guys are sleeping in dark areas and you're going to auto lock, find out where they are, take your big charge attacks and get them out quickly. A few bloodhounds lurking around as well and a lot of glove wart so collect these on your way through. Now through this stone archway and down the half turn stair there's going to be another misbegotten warrior, one of the smaller weaker ones. Then we're going to go through and see the boss door. You're not going to want to go through right away, we've still got a lever to pull and it's going to be behind us. But uh, just showcasing where this is and you'll see why we don't want to go right through in a moment. So through that chunky door over there we'll be meeting the boss jewel fight in a moment but back up this stairwell and down to the left we're first going to go pull that lever. As I say pick up all the glove warts in this area you may as well to upgrade your ashes because you're going to get two pretty cool ashes from this catacombs. So we're going to drop down here there's going to be a lot of the sleeping guys just use the auto lock feature to figure out who's sleeping and who's dead. Take them out one by one it will be easy they're not all going to jump up at the same time. There we go, we get the winged misbegotten ashes. We'll be testing this out and showing you these stats later on, but for now we're going to move on just through this turn and we're going to go straight to the lever. Before you run away from the lever, do be sure to pick up the rune arc on the left and then also an item over on the other side. Now this is why I didn't want you to run straight through to the boss. You'll see a massive misbegotten guy over there and if he swings an axe at you, it is one hit, so we're going to lure him away first with a spell, get him around chasing me on the right, go and grab that item and straight through to the boss. And back to the boss door which is now unlocked, we'll be going through to meet Perfuma Trisha and Misbegotten Warrior. This is a dual boss fight and you're going to want to take this tactically. I did get absolutely wrecked the first time, it was a spawn kill from the Misbegotten Warrior, but uh, we're going to replay it, go back in, and I'll give some tips on how you can make this a much easier fight. Now, do be warned, there's not a state of militia right outside, you're going to have to run back, but when you are running back, don't take the usual route, just drop straight down. Looks a huge drop, but you won't take much damage, and you can go straight on into the boss fight. Now as soon as we spawn into this dual boss fight, Miss Forgotten Warrior is going to pounce on us right away and some forthcoming swings will follow. Dodge these and then take as many hits as you can before Trisha puts the veil around you. Definitely recommend putting all your focus on the Miss Forgotten Warrior first. It's definitely the one you want to get out of the way and it's going to cause you the most harm throughout the fight. Now this golden veil is going to do little to no damage when you hit him, but as soon as you do do a nice charge attack it will take it off. Now Trisha, you'll see she'll vary between putting on herself and the Misbegotten Warrior, so before you get one out of the way, it's just going to be an impossible fight. Now this big attack where he slams into the ground and kind of gets caught for a moment, I've managed to get a few critical strikes right there, so probably his most vulnerable position. And uh, here, you're definitely going to want to get the Misbegotten Warrior out of the way first, and then you can move on to a 1v1 with Trisha. With a bit of distance, this should be easy. Nom diddy nom one, dragon bite to the face and Trisha is gone. 
enemy failed and we are rewarded with her ashes of war. So two stone sword keys have got us a rune arc and two ashes of war. I'll showcase those in a moment and we'll see if this was worth it. Honestly thought I'd be here all night but this was not bad at all. My biggest tips are to take out as many of the guys as you can throughout the journey because if they're chasing you, as I said, they just clog up all the archways and it's impossible to make your way through. Use the auto lock feature in dark areas and with the boss battle make sure you take out Leone first or the misbegotten sorry warrior first and then make your way onto Perfuma Trisha. One by one they are very weak and just make sure you're not attacking them when they've got that gold veil around them. And that is all for the unsightly catacombs. I hope this video has helped somebody out there make the decision as to whether they want to use two stone sword keys. Just showcasing the rewards here. Perfuma Trisha and winged misbegotten spirit ashes. Ashes of war. Peace.